Roberto, aka Superstar, is the Zambian act that has made his name synonymous with Amarula. Or he did, at least. Be it the brand or the fruit, it's Roberto that comes to mind when you hear Amarula. If you remember the 2014 hit single, I mean, you remember the 2014 hit single, then you know he owned 2015 and 2016 with that song. I remember Christmas in Mauritius 2015 and that song was being played everywhere. At the beach, cars, in the clubs, bars, Amarula. It was everywhere. That's when I knew Roberto had made the biggest song of his career. Zambia, Southern Africa, East Africa, West Africa, Europe, the Pacific Islands, Asia, North America. The song was everywhere. Now, let's make a case for Roberto as the goat of Zambian music right now. Roberto actually started out as a rapper and crossed the tricky terrain to becoming a singer-songwriter, producer, and eventually a singer himself. He teamed up with uh, Tonics from Uganda to form the duo UZ47, and also the group Explosive with production under his belt. As he made moves in the industry, he released his most successful album titled My Name Is, which incidentally is his tagline of sorts. That bagged Roberto the best R&B album and the best songwriter of the year at the 2013 Zambia Music Awards. That was only the beginning, as time would prove. When it comes to accolades, Roberto is one of the most celebrated Zambian artists to ever live. He has won multiple Song of the Year awards, Amarula being one of his most awarded songs too. It even got him a Pan-African Song of the Year award at Namibia's Nama Awards in 2016. I mean, whole different country, bruh, bruh. He also got Southern African Song of the Year for Into You at the 2018 Hippipo Awards. And <laughs> most recently, he bagged Best Afrobeat Song at the 2021 Zikoma Awards for the banger African Woman featuring General Ozzy, who happens to be his older brother. Under the tutelage of General Ozzy, Roberto learned the ins and outs of the game, and no wonder he's the superstar he is today. We haven't even scratched the surface here when it comes to his awards, but let's keep it simple. Roberto has collaborated with some of the best artists from Africa and around the world. From Rotimi's Bay, Vanessa Day, who's from TZ, uh, Pat Ranking, Ibra, Cleo Ice Queen, Ricardo Banks, King Kaka, Stoneboy, Dummy Crane, Beanie Ganta, Sudan Sierra, Rosary, Chandana K, Edem, Slap Dig, Yemo, Chef 187, J Rocks, Adora Kisting, Zone Fam, and that's to name a few. <laughs> okay, let's look at some stats then. One thing Roberto has is remarkable consistency. He has toured over 50 countries and his music played in more countries than you can name. Roberto has five albums, the self-titled Roberto in 2007, Akasuba from 2009, My Name Is, which was released in 2012, the one I mentioned earlier, Amarula in 2015, and 2017's Superstar. He's about to drop a sixth studio album on April 30th, 2021, and is titled Journey to the East. My Name is actually at a record number of songs, uh, number one songs, at five. And you could call it his most successful body of work today. But I'm pretty sure the recent albums will have, you know, much to say about that. I haven't even mentioned the hip-hop compilation he produced in South Africa. Let's not even go there. On social media, Roberto's Facebook has 420,000 followers. 330,000 followers on Instagram, 98,000 followers on Twitter, and here's a cool fact. Roberto is the first Zambian artist to get a YouTube Silver Creator Award for pa passing 100,000 subscribers. He has the most subscribed channel in Zambia with over 121,000 subscribers and 11.5 million views in total. Goat status, goat status. Roberto's highest grossing music video sits at a cool 4.3 million views on YouTube, 
God knows how many more he got in spins through MTV Base Africa, Channel O and the like over the years. Did I even mention radio? Hmm, nah. Wanna guess what that song is? Well, <laughs> I'm a ruler. You then get African Woman at 1.4 million views and Fiance featuring Chanda K at 1.3 million views. On Roberto's Spotify, Amarula has 5.3 million streams, followed by the Amarula Ash Dance Refix at nearly a million streams and the official Amarula Remix at half a million streams. Yeah, that's like his mega hit. So, you tell me, is there a case for Roberto as the goat of modern Zambian music or what? Let me know in the comments below, like, subscribe and keep up with more fantastic Motomoto music content. My name is MJ Omoto and I'll catch you next time.